coming in from Darjeeling as we've been reporting with the protests further intensifying as it continues to remain on the edge over a week now. These are latest shots uh, of those protests with the GJM which has further intensified its protests and turned this now into a demand for a Gorkha land as well. We have with us our correspondent there, Tapas, who's been getting us further inputs. Tapas, take us through what's happening right now in these visuals that you're sending us. Well, the situation right now here in Chok Bazar is very, very tense at this point in time. Huge police were deployed. Uh, the rally that went out from Chok Bazar and came back to Chok Bazar, the, the, they were heading towards the DM office and, 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 and uh, also to the court uh, to show their protest. And however, there was a police barricading and lati charge was uh, done. And finally, uh, the SP, uh, Akhilesh Chaturvedi, and also senior police officials in presence of them, they are, you, as you can see, few of the supporters have been taken into custody. There were a lot of stone peltings done from this area. The stone pelting being done from different places. Police, police, police is taking down all the supporters to that place. Okay. It's, it's, it's absolutely a very, very tense situation right now here. The combat forces running. It's Chalk Bazaar area, as you can see. We are heading towards the Trinamul party office as the supporters have left to that very place. The entire area has been cordoned off. Tear shells have also been used at certain places to disperse the crowd. Attempts being made from the rooftops of the adjoining building, stone pelting. But police have made a heavy crackdown here. Many supporters have been uh, held here right now. Achilles Chaturvedi, the SP, is leading this entire crackdown here because under any circumstances, the police said they will not let the supporters march towards the DM office. Back to you. All right, the forces, of course, trying to uh, rein in the protesters as it is a complete shutdown. Remember, believe it or not, uh, this is absolute peak tourism season there in Darjeeling. Shutters down there at Chalk Bazaar as our, as our correspondent Tapas is getting us those latest inputs. A lot of tourists that continue to remain stranded for the past two days there in not being able to get vehicles uh, to step out, to move out of Darjeeling. But these, these are the latest shots here of protests further intensifying. Uh, Tapas, uh, take us through what's really expected through the day as far as far as the GJM there is concerned in pressing on that demand on using this, uh, the issue of language of, of Bengali being taught, the decision by the West Bengal Chief Minister of Teaching Bengali across all schools in West Bengal, uh, on using the momentum of those protests to once again revive their Gorkhaland demand there as well. They have already announced an all-party meet to take place today. Well, yes, all party meetings scheduled to take place at Darjeeling Gym Khana at around 1 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon. But uh, who all are the party going to uh, uh, come is not very sure. Only Gorkha Janmukti Morcha and Hill Congress are uh, likely to join that all party meet. The GNLF and the uh, Gorkha League have declined to join there. Uh, but it, it all remains to be seen because the kind of situation that uh, erupted here right now, all of a sudden, that under any circumstances, law violation will not be tolerated. And hence, the senior IPS officers, they are here. And their uh, attempts have been made from different rooftops to do stone pending. As you can see, the, to, uh, uh, there's another platoon of forces moving towards the district magistrate's office. A crackdown in every corner, every corner of Darjeeling is taking place right now. But all I can say, uh, the Gorkha and Mukti Morcha had uh, earlier said, and that they will be uh, performing peaceful demonstration. These are the stones which have been pelted on police from different rooftops in the adjoining area. It's a very tense situation. And, and uh, the three top IPS officers, they have also come down here. However, Gorkha Jan Mukti Morcha leaders say that the people who are involved in stone pelting are not supporters of the GJM. But the rally have been taken out uh, mm -hmm. with a national flag in front, chanting slogans. And, and, and those are uh, uh, those are crucial inputs there, Tapas, that you're sending us. Uh, there has been fresh stole pelting on the forces there uh, in that protest, Tapas. Uh, are you saying that apart from the peaceful protest march, which the GGM wants to emphasize on, on this so-called peaceful protest march, there are supporters, there are protesters on the rooftops who've continued to pelt stone on the forces, even this minute as you speak? Well, yes, absolutely, sir. Um, it's, 
and second floor of the adjoining buildings mm -hmm. because all these buildings are known to be the home to those, those to those stone pelters and 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 here the stone pelting and petrol bomb uh, 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 petrol bomb pelting is something that is very very common and that was a, a very uh, immense threat on the security forces and this is the very area where the uh, several buses were torched uh, on 8th of june as you can see remains are still very clear and and police have once again come out and the entire area have been cordoned off 144 has been imposed in the area nobody is allowed to even come out of the buildings be it anybody so given the situation now gorkha jan mukti morcha need to clarify their stand as to how could they say that their protest rally will be uh, or or is uh, peaceful in nature because police have stopped the rally from venturing towards the dm, DM office and immediately after that heavy stone building started in the area back to you Tapas, uh, also help us understand the condition of the tourists, uh, multiple foreign domestic tourists as well, this being peak tourism season. We've been playing out some reactions saying that they're not being allowed to leave. Uh, even, uh, even government vehicles and buses that were to be provided to them as shuttles to be moving out of Darjeeling well, has not see, been like provided to them. They're right stranded now, for the past the two days. Which are, which are getting ready to disperse the crowd right okay. now. Now it will be a wall out war between the police and the Gorkhajan Mukti Morcha supporters out here. And, and the, the tear shells are being made ready to, to deal with the situation, to disperse the crowd right now. The combat forces are here. What we have learned that, the, that a company of the Central Paramilitary Forces are also being called on. They are also reaching here and more reinforcement reaching in this area. And also some other raids will be carried out. Uh, in, in around Singmari, the party office of the Golkhajan Mukti Morcha and Batle Pass, which is also the residence of Bimal Gurung, where area domination have been intensified since yesterday. And maybe that's the reason the Golkhajan Mukti Morcha supporters have come up here and they are trying to retaliate and retaliate very hard on the security forces. Back to you. Okay, you're saying this is, is good. perhaps going to be an inevitable clash uh, if the GJM does not... Uh... Uh, does not in fact listen to those instructions by the security forces and the police. This of course understandably uh, at a time when security has been beefed up at one of the busiest locations there in Darjeeling. We are getting you live inputs from our correspondent there at Chalk Bazaar uh, in yet another protest march that was witnessed just a couple of minutes ago as we played out those live shots. The GJM along with its set of supporters there protesting in continuing to further intensify these protests and more importantly it is turning violent. Shamefully we have seen how from the rooftops of some of the shops here at the Chalk Bazaar, stones have been pelted yet again uh, at the police and the security forces. Tapas, uh, help us understand if you could get us a direct response from the police here. 